<laughs> Yo, neighbors. Yes. Today was just a surprise G.I. Joe day. Um, I'll get into that in a couple seconds, but just a quick roundup of what we learned today and what we got to see. One second. All right, so I wasn't really prepared to make a video today. I don't even have much battery left on my camera because I didn't charge it. But first thing this morning, Hasbro surprised us with, it was G.I. Joe Day. Uh, so they promised some render reveals. Um, they had some restocks, so people were able to get Serpentor and Mindbender, and they sold out again very quickly. Very limited supply. Um, and then we got some reveals, some render reveals today, which were really cool to see. Um, so just real quick, why is it G.I. Joe Day? So tomorrow, February 2nd, is the 59th anniversary of G.I. Joe. So in February 2nd, 1964, uh, G.I. Joe, the original 12-inch line debuted and the rest is history. So I imagine next year they'll do a 60th anniversary um, celebration that encompasses the entire franchise from 12-inch. So maybe we'll see some 12-inch figures next year. Maybe we'll see some throwback figures. I don't know. Um, you know, something with the beard or the karate chop, that would be kind of cool. Even in classified scale, that would be neat. Uh, but anyway, the reveals today were, and I have my original guys. Now, I don't have a ton of original guys left, but here's who I do have. The first reveal was Snow Job. I love those redheads, man. I know you. <laughs> um, they did a really nice job. Uh, this is the render I'll pull up. And uh, this was said to be, I guess, a deluxe figure. And he will have um, a vehicle. I thought it was going to be the, uh, the polar bear, um, the snowmobile. But I guess not. They are considering all the skis as part of his vehicle, I guess. So... It's a deluxe figure. None of these reveals have a, um, a date just yet. That stuff is coming. We have all year. They're going to tell us when. I'm hoping some of these deluxe figures are somewhat affordable. Something close to Breaker and Ram. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe a little bit more. Um, the next reveal after Snow Job was uh, Scrap Iron. So, again, I have Scrap Iron here. Actually, I have all of today's figures still. Um, Scrap Iron, I do not have any of his accessories. Uh, they did a really cool update, and this is what I like about Classified. Don't go full retro. There is a retro subline for that. Um, kind, they kind of did it with Snow Job, but it is Snow Job, so it's kind of appropriate. Scrap Iron did get an update with the armored drone that's in the render. Um, and the accessory pieces with the explosions, um, laser spelled like laser, um, really cool. I'm really excited for that one. Uh, so that gave me like a Dr. Evil vibe. He's got lasers. Called a lasers. Or laser guided missiles. My bad. Lasers. Um, next up, I'm going to skip the next one up. Um. The fourth reveal was Televiper with his pod, um, his trouble bubble. So you can see mine still looks okay. It's got some paint wear right there in the face. But uh, they did this one was kind of interesting because they are finally, not finally, they're doing a good job with this. Uh, but there's diversity in the classified line, which just means more representation. There's a ton of kids uh, who are now grown adults like myself that played with this. Um, so it's really cool to start to see everybody kind of represented in the line. Um, so to me, the big reveal was the steel core. So we all know that that's steel brigade. Um, not everybody's familiar with this character. 
Uh, they were released in 1987. I still have my original one. Um, this is a case that I got from a buddy of mine. I will link it below. Um, he pops right out of this case. This was really exciting for me. Um, again, some inclusion in this reveal because there is a female Steel Brigade character. Uh, but this was the original Joe green shirt. Um, I'm doing a lot of air quotes, sorry. Um, it was the original troop builder. This was a mail away and you could get a file card and name your character and some of his attributes yourself. Uh, this is my original one from when I was a kid. It shows a lot of, it got a lot of play. Um, somehow I was lucky enough to, uh, still have in good condition. Um, but this was a big one for me. It was a mail away. I have a fond memory of filling out the form with my grandmother. Uh, she helped me collect the points to get it. Um, so it was really kind of cool. Um, I know that Valiverse now owns the Steel Brigade name. They have a really nice version. Um, I never had one in hand. I only have a few Valiverse figures. Um, but they did a really nice job. To me, this was the design. It's a nice, modern, updated design that really goes with the classified look. Uh, they are now called Steel Core. Um, but I'm really excited. I was really surprised by that. During the Sky Striker stream, um, Lenny did say that they had green shirts coming and that there was like a land air aspect to it. Um, so that's the jetpacks. Again, some really cool accessories with this. So um, I'm not really a news channel, but today was kind of really cool. And I thought that, I mean, I was really excited with some of the reveals and I thought I would just wrap it up real quick um, and make a really quick video. I don't know if I'll do that a ton going forward um, unless you guys want that kind of stuff. But it was a really cool way to celebrate G.I. Joe's 59th anniversary. They did jump ahead a day, but I mean, Wednesday, it's hump day. You got to have something to look forward to. I did make a little prediction that we would see something with Sergeant Slaughter. Um, apparently, he may be revealed somewhere uh, out in the public that the transformer crossover with the triple t is coming i thought maybe we'd see that or maybe we'd see a uh, mad marauder version of slaughter uh who knows there's still plenty of the year left um but you got to remember when some of the youtube guys make these predictions um they could be crazy predictions like there was one that was out i guess a little over a year or two ago about mindbender coming with the trouble bubble and somebody said that was it. It was legit. It was out there. It never came true. A lot of people were disappointed. We're finally getting that trouble bubble with the Televiper. I'm sure that Mindbender will fit in there. Um, but anyway, big news today, and it's really cool. Um, I will work on the Sky Striker review. I plan on opening all my figures, doing a parachute test, having some fun with it taking that thing outside but anyway um that was a nice surprise today thank you hasbro i'm excited hopefully all the price points are doable and all the uh figures are attainable to everybody thanks go hug somebody see ya.